You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Lay still. Don't move. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, uh, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the Resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. Killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. <laughs> I sure made his day. Way to make a good first impression. Sure is. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to Perry? Skynet got hold of our position. We had to leave our shelter. There were a lot of casualties, and he was one of them. He died a soldier. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first medal I ever destroyed. Sounds like you were late in joining the destroy Skynet campaign. Before that, it was people, not machines. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Jacob, you got a minute? What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just. Think about it, okay? Huh. 
Wasn't expecting to find you here. Yeah, that's uh, right now. Need anything? Can I see your hardware? Plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Flamethrower? If I could get close enough to take a picture...
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 